I love spring for two reasons, the weather is beautiful and DJI just released some new toys. The new RS4 is the next generation of RS3 and RS4 Pro is the next version of the great RS3 Pro, while in the DJI Focus Pro kit we will find a new LiDAR sensor, new fantastic motors, a new Focus hand unit and most importantly in my opinion a fantastic Focus Pro grip which in a way was the missing link of the whole DJI ecosystem. Now each of these has so many improvements and fantastic options that if I wanted to tell you about it in detail I would need at least an hour for each of these devices. That's why today I'm going to show you the most important and biggest improvements and in the next few weeks there will be some longer tutorials on my channel about RS4 Pro and DJI Focus Pro. So if for some reason you are still not in my club then please subscribe to my channel. Both gimbals have a lot of individual improvements which I will talk about in a moment but let's start with all the identical upgrades and new features that you will find in both the RS4 and RS4 Pro versions. The RS4 Pro has slightly larger motors but almost exactly the same size, weight and payload as the RS3 Pro. While the RS4 is slightly larger than the RS3, so at first impression the new gimbals look almost identical to the previous models. On the other hand, remember that greatness is always in the details. In these similarities we will find the first good news because the new gimbals are almost completely compatible with the entire series of accessories that we know from previous RS models. All types of mounts, plates, batteries and grips that we already have from previous RS versions fit perfectly so you don't have to buy anything new. The first new thing you will notice is the 2-in-1 base plate which allows you to change the orientation of the camera from horizontal to vertical extremely quickly and safely. You no longer need to use additional mounts or adapters. Changing the position is extremely easy and fast but after that you have to slightly adjust the balance because the center of gravity of the camera is changing and at this point you will find another useful improvement which is a teflon coating on all arms. So that precise balance even with heavy cameras is now much easier. Another very important improvement is brand new motors that you can use to control focus, zoom and iris. They are faster, more powerful, super easy to use and calibrate and most importantly they are finally compatible with standard 15mm rods. Anyone who has used the Ronin RS3 in a more professional way knows that this is a very significant change because you no longer need to use any kind of adapters. What's more, the same motors that you will find in the RS4 and the Pro version are of course exactly the same that comes in the DJI Focus Pro kit but more on that later. The next new feature that is some way related to the new motors is the joystick mode switch, which you will find next to the display, thanks to which you can use the joystick not only for traditional motion control but from now on also for controlling the second motor which you can use for iris, zoom or even variable ND. In fact, in the previous model the use of two motors was also possible but now it is definitely much easier. The next major upgrade and not just for the new gimbals but for the entire RS series is the new large high capacity battery. Unfortunately you won't find it in the kit and you have to buy it separately but it is really worth it because what is obvious this battery increased the operating time, it is a great extra long grip that is super helpful with heavy cameras but most importantly in my opinion the bottom USB-C port is no longer just a battery charging port but also a power output which means that you can power various accessories from it and most importantly finally you can power some of your cameras straight from this battery. Not all of them of course because this port supports devices with a maximum output of 18 watts so I have no chance to power the Komodo X from it but my Sony works great while the Pocket 4K also works this way but only if you record B-roll. If you want to record ProRes then it probably has a higher power consumption and simply stops. So here I need some more tests. A slight downside in my opinion is the location of this port. I think it would be better if this USB-C port was located higher because the cable that goes all the way through the handle can be annoying but in conclusion I have no doubt that this is a significant improvement for the entire RS series. Now in both gimbals you will also find such improvements that you can't notice right away, I mean the second generation of automatic axis locking which is now even stiffer and the fourth generation of stabilization which I will tell you more about in the RS4 Pro section but first a few specific details about the RS4. 
Apart from all the things that I already mentioned, RS4 has, in my opinion, one very important upgrade that I would like to talk about. RSA is a Ronin accessory mount port that is integrated into the NATO mount and which we know from the entire Pro series. Thanks to these ports, you can expand the Ronin with all kinds of additional accessories which are extremely important and necessary for certain special shots. The older RS3 model had no active communication port, so if you wanted to use it in a more challenging situation, you could control it only with your smartphone. Now, in fact, in RS4 you can find only one active communication port, but in my opinion this is completely enough, and with this improvement you get many new and more creative possibilities. But at this point, an important information. As I said, RS4 is compatible with all the older RS accessories, including car mounts, but because of the slightly different design of NATO mount, it is not compatible with the safety bracket, which is designed to protect the Ronin from accidental release from the base plate. That's why the principle of double safety of the gimbal is extremely important, always and without exception in any situation where you want to use the Ronin in a possible dangerous situation. So at this point you have three options. First, wait for dedicated base plate for RS4, which I suppose someone will design soon. The second option is to make some kind of additional protection yourself, or the last and best option in my opinion, use RS4 Pro. When I saw the RS4 Pro for the first time, I thought that it was more like an improved version of RS3 Pro than a totally new gimbal. But after these few weeks of testing, I will say this. RS4 Pro is the most advanced RS gimbal from DJI, which combined with an incredible ecosystem is completely a tool that will work in any scenario. Of course, this doesn't mean that every filmmaker has to buy it right away, but there is a certainly a large group of filmmakers who should consider it. The fourth generation of stabilization algorithm, 20% more torque and a special new car mount stabilization mode. Is this the next era of stabilization or is it a very noticeable change from the RS3 Pro? You know, it all depends on how you use it. If you are using the Ronin in normal handheld mode, then you are probably not going to see the difference, but I guarantee you that in a situation where you want to get 100% potential from the Ronin, then you will feel the difference for sure and even more so if you are using a heavy and large kit. Now, just to be clear, every Ronin I have had has been great and it is hard to see the difference in stabilization between nearby models, but if you compare the RS4 Pro with the RS2, for example, the difference is really significant. Now, something that is especially important to me are some improvements and new features that are designed very precisely for car shooting scenarios. For example, car mount mode, which is a mode where the Ronin based on the weight and size of the camera automatically select the power and stiffness of the motors and let me tell you that it works quite well in my opinion, much better than old super smooth mode and it will definitely be very helpful for all kinds of car shots and it will definitely save you some time on the set, while the next thing might be even more useful. The new LiDAR sensor looks almost identical to the previous model and has the same mount which can be modified quite easily. But more importantly, the new sensor has a much better range than the previous model, much better measurement precision, besides it is supported by some smart features, such as a very improved tracking function and memory of faces, objects and cars. This means that if you lock the focus on a certain car or person, even in a crowd or traffic, LiDAR can handle all the obstacles that will appear in the frame, even in the foreground. What's more, LiDAR can remember a face, body shape or a car that may even disappear from the frame for a while. Now, for me personally, a very important improvement in RS4 is the ability to use LiDAR sensor and DJI transmission at the same time. In fact, in RS3 Pro, with the cable hub, you could do the same thing, but you had to use an extra battery, which created a kind of mess in cables, which I really hate. Here, the improvement is significant because the new cable hub has a removable power connector, so you can plug it directly into USB-C on the gimbal. For me, this option is extremely important because in such a configuration, RS4 for Pro, DJI transmission and LiDAR sensor create a combination that works basically like the Ronin 4D, that is you have your own virtual focus assistant and focus histogram, which is an extremely helpful tool for keeping a perfect focus. Speaking about focus 
end, we finally get to the, a very important piece of equipment that is the DJI Focus Pro, which in my opinion is another big deal for everyone, and I mean not just solo shooters, but even the most professional production teams. The kit includes the new LiDAR sensor and the new motors that I mentioned before, but also the Focus Pro hand unit, which is phenomenal professional hand grip for controlling focus, iris and zoom, and the most important, in my opinion, Focus Pro grip, which is the brain of the whole system in any situation where you want to use it completely independent from the gimbal, with any camera and with any lens you can think of. DJI Focus Pro is the first standalone such advanced and versatile wireless manual and autofocus system and the first that you can use in so many configurations. Almost everything is fully compatible with each other. That is, the LiDAR sensor and the new Focus motor work both with the gimbal and in a pure handheld camera configuration. The Focus Pro hand unit controls the motors on the gimbal and on the camera itself. And what's more, it is compatible even with the Ronin 4D, Inspire 3 and DJI transmission, so you can use it even with the big Ronin 2. Now, we will explore all of these combinations in a dedicated next video, but what is insanely important is the versatility of this equipment. Basically, no matter if you are a one-man band or working on a very professional set with your team, this new DJI Focus Pro will handle even the most complicated scene. For example, imagine that you are a one-man band and you want to use the great lighter autofocus and at the same time you want to control yourself zoom or iris. No problem, everything will work perfectly and all you have to do is just keep a perfect frame. Now, the next day you have a bigger job where you will have your focus puller, so all you have to do is just give him a hand unit and that's it. On top of that, in very complicated shots, your assistant can control only zoom and iris and focus will be completely done by ladder. Or they can do it together in auto manual focus mode, which is finally available in this configuration. Auto manual focus mode is the auto focus mode that some people already know from the Ronin 4D. It's basically a combination of manual and autofocus and it works in such a way that the LiDAR keeps the focus on the selected subject, but at the same time you have full control. What's more, you can feel and see every single automatic focus movement in real time on the dial, on the focus grip or hand unit, which gives you a very realistic feel on how the LiDAR performs. I know how you feel a lot of this new information, so a small recap. New motors, more powerful, faster, super easy to calibrate, compatible with 50mm rods, adjustable torque, adjustable rotation, one button linking, you can assign them to any function that is focus, zoom or iris with a simple click. It looks identical to the 3 channel follow focus, but it has a small but very clear display on which you can find all the useful settings, options and information. You can control all motors. It is compatible with everything. Focus hand grip, running RS4 and Pro, running 4D, Inspire 3, DJI transmission with running 2, and even without anything, just the motor itself in the style of pure wireless follow focus. The Focus Pro grip is the answer from DJI to our needs and, in my opinion, the missing link of the entire DJI ecosystem. Here's why. Try to imagine the LiDAR autofocus system where the sensor is the eyes, the motors are the hands, while in order to work at full potential, it needs a brain. Such a brain is of course the RS4 Pro and RS3 Pro, but also the DJI transmission, so until now, if you wanted to use a LiDAR system without a gimbal in pure handheld style, it was only possible this way, which for many users was too expensive option. Of course, to get the handheld effect, you could always lock the gimbal and run that way, but that solution had a lot of limitations. That's why, in order to meet our expectations, DJI engineers simply cut off half of the gimbal and that's how the new Pro Grip was created. Simple and brilliant. You will find all the options, settings and memories of the lens and also the image from the camera coming from the ladder, which is needed to calibrate the lenses. What's more, the grip got a great mount so that it is also a great holder for the camera as well as hand grip for manual focus control. Setup of all this is extremely easy and the rest of the calibration looks exactly like the calibration with the gimbal. Super simple. 
Let's start with the gimbals. And here I'd like to quickly explain to you what the difference is between the RS4 and the Pro version. And I say this because I know that many people have had trouble with this since their previous model. The RS4 is not a smaller version of the RS4 Pro. I would more say it is a completely different gimbal. It's a bit like the difference between iPhone and iPhone Pro Max. So, if you have a small Sony style camera and with a small manual or autofocus lens, and if you don't use large and heavy accessories, and if all your projects are more of a handheld gimbal style without very complicated special shots which require teamwork, then the RS4 is the perfect gimbal for you. On the other hand, wherever you want to use the gimbal more as a wireless remote camera head with a bigger set with all the additional advanced accessories of the DJI ecosystem and more so with more challenging and professional team projects, then you definitely need the Pro version. But who really needs the new models? In my opinion, if you have an RS3, then you should definitely invest in an RS4 in a situation where you want to work in a slightly more creative way if you want to expand your skills with unique shots, for which you need some additional accessories. The situation is slightly different with RS4 Pro. My opinion has been exactly the same for years. I always buy every new gimbal from DJI as soon as possible, not because I like to always have the latest model, but more because every new gimbal always includes something new or some improvement that will be important to me. Sometimes it's better stabilization, sometimes it's advanced features, but it's always something that helps me on the set, not only to save some time, but more importantly to achieve new skills or new creative shots that help me grow as a filmmaker and get bigger and high budget projects. While when it comes to DJI Focus Pro, I will say this. This is one of those things about which I can honestly say, don't wait, just buy it right away because it is really worth it. This is simply brilliant and to be honest, when I tested this equipment and this whole ultra modern ecosystem over the past weeks, I realized that this equipment without a human is a bunch of electronics, but in a way a human without this equipment is just a bunch of ideas. <laughs>